Jim Clouk here. Welcome to the Phenomenal Business Growth Podcast. I hope you are having a phenomenal day. A friend of mine is joining me. You may have met Lisa Vandenberg. She is a new Inner Circle member. So if you haven't met her, you're going to meet her here on the program from Salt Solutions Coaching. Hey, how you doing? So good. So good. Phenomenal. Like yes. we all say. <laughs> Better right. than phenomenal, right? Better We're doing than fantastic, phenomenal. <laughs> As Howard says when he gets up on stage, I don't know if you've seen this before, but he he has this this long iteration of 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 all these letters and it means this that and the other thing and i'm i, I still don't know the code but then so he'll he'll rattle off all these letters and then he'll say what it all means he's memorized it so but but um anyway it is great to have you lisa i really thank appreciate you. you joining me here thank on you. the program mm -hmm. so before we get into your background and what you guys do i understand that you are really new to inner circle at phenomenal business coaching you started about a month ago we are we are this is uh this is the end of the first month that we started in so we've done one of the pods um we've we have our first one-on-one -on -one coaching session soon and it's been brilliant to see not only the in front of the scenes the conferences and and things that we've been to but now being able to see behind the scenes too how it all works and we're super impressed Yep. And I'm actually impressed with you because uh, before we went on to this podcast today, you told me that you got to know some other inner circle members through the podcast by looking at other interviews that I've conducted. And mm -hmm. that's a great way to get to know people in the group, isn't it? Totally. It's it's great. It was so great to see people in their own work environment, to hear from their heart. You know, at a, at a conference, it's awesome. We can connect with people. We get to meet people. But now in this podcast format, I get to sit down and really listen to the person you're interviewing, hear their heart. What is their business? What have they got out of Inner Circle that I can perhaps get to? So thank you for doing that. It was great getting to know people that way. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Salt Solutions. Tell everybody what Salt Solutions Coaching is, your unique approach, because I kind of like, well, actually not kind of, I really like what you do. And I'm not sure if a lot of people actually have stepped back to think about that type of approach. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, what Howard and, the inner, and his team and the inner circle do is guiding us towards creating a healthy business, right? And the beauty of what we get to do is guiding individuals to be a healthy you. Because we all know that it, we're called to business, right? We're called to, to do something, whether it's an entrepreneurial endeavor, whether it's hiring employees, being self-employed, whatever that is, we have this hunger inside of us that wants to bring value to the world. And ours happens to be in the marketplace, right? And we can, we, we can use the astounding principles and lessons and frameworks in the inner circle. But sometimes, and we've had these discussions with people for over 10 years that we've been coaching, it's like, but I just can't seem to get past a certain financial limit. You know, I seem to hit this thing over and over again. Or I've got this voice in my head that says, you'll just never be as good as your dad if you're in a generational business. Or, you know, this I've had this own this voice in my own head. It's like, you're a woman. You're not going to be able to succeed and do all the other stuff that you need to do in life. So we love coming alongside people because we we just love human potential, right? And being able to come alongside people and go, hey, let's find the root of that thing and get rid of it so that you are free to run what it is that you are called to do, right? And people get, it's the most ph phenomenal thing. We get to literally see people free of these, we call them walls and ceilings and chains that are holding them back or limiting us. And literally the world becomes your oyster and you can do what it is that's on your heart to do, the cry of your heart, the people you want to influence, the, the value you want to bring to the world. And it's just the most astounding thing to be part of. Yeah. Um, we are the ones that limit ourselves. Almost no one else really cares about us. <laughs> they're not They're not holding us back. We're holding ourselves back, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. And often, Jim, we don't even know it. 
right? Because it's we're us, we live with us all the time. So we can often not see what our own blockages are. And you can ask your friends and your colleagues and they, they if they're brave enough or you have that kind of relationship, they might be able to tell you. But having a coach next to you whose only invest, vested interest in you is to see you succeed, you know, it doesn't matter to me really whether you like me or not. It matters to me that we develop the full potential of you. And if that means challenging you on some stuff, if it means championing you into some stuff, if it means pointing out some stuff that has just been there way too long, and we come alongside you and go, hey, do you really want to carry that? Or can we help you get rid of it so that you can be free to flourish? Would <laughs> you say then you're kind of like a therapist in some ways? No, because coaching is different to therapy. It's, it's more like counsel, if you like. Um, therapy goes very much into um, the past. It's trying to heal old wounds. And we do we do absolutely have a portion of that because all of this comes from an, an old place, right? It comes from our parents, something that happened to us along the line. Each of us have this pool, this well, if you like, that we, that we dig from, that we get our new thoughts from. And so two of us on the team are absolutely brilliant at that. There are three of us in this coaching team. And um, one of them is really able to see where those blockages are. We can, we can listen and go, hmm, that's a limiting belief right there. Or, hey, have you ever investigated that so you can see if you can get past it? Right. And then the other one of us is brilliant at being able to say, OK, let's get rid of that lie. Let's get to the root of that thing that you're believing. And now that you're free, now that the, you know, you, you can imagine if you're looking down a road and there's all sorts of obstacles and there's potholes and there's concrete in the way and there's a tree growing in the middle of the road. It's like you can't navigate that super well. But if we can get rid of those things, if we can fill in the pothole, if we can take away the rock, if we can move the tree somewhere else, how your roads open. And that's where I come in. I love to do the strategic to tactical part of it. How do we take the dreams and desires of your heart and now put legs on them so that you can run? Isn't it interesting how someone who doesn't know you that well can get to know you well enough to see what your limitations are, your limitation, what's what you are limiting yeah. uh, in your life, not what the limitations truly are, because really they're not there, right? It's mm. all in your head. Mm. And that's the beauty of having somebody alongside you that that has only the interest in seeing you go somewhere, right? Because let's face it, in relationships we're in, sometimes we'll go, hey, I don't like that because in you because I really don't like what it's doing to me, right? So we, we don't always have a, a clear view of each other when we're deep in relationship. But having somebody, like you say, not only come alongside you, but Jim, come alongside you with the aim of seeing you flourish, right? So it's not like maybe the criticism we would get at work and say, hey, you suck at doing that or you're not great at doing that. Where's the encouragement in that? Where's the accountability? Where's the, hey, but I see you're really awesome in this. Right. So how about we put you There's a great old saying, uh, get the right bus and then get the right people on the right bus and in the right seats on the bus. Right. So that's the beauty that happens when it's an impartial uh, come alongside person that comes alongside you, but a vested interest, a safe place to share everything and then a vested interest in seeing you flourish. I like that a safe place because you're not going to judge and it really doesn't matter because you're really removed from their world and you can give an objective look and and coaching mm -hmm. to the individual and i can really see how this is important so many things in our lives are psychological yeah. i mean they pretty much all are we're not yeah. robots we're human mm -hmm. and Generally, our number one enemy is ourselves. It's not true of all people, mm. but many people really are tough on themselves. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. I am still have been for years, right? It's a it's an ongoing journey that we get to be on. But the the way I see it is, you know, you can imagine yourself carrying a big sack, heavy sack on your back. And what if somebody came alongside you and said, "Hey, could we put the sack down for a moment and 
take something out of there that doesn't belong in there, right? And then you may choose to pick it up again because this is a journey. We, we get to do this for a while, right? But then the sack is lighter and it's lighter. And what if we just walked with someone long-term, like we do in the inner circle even, even we, we'll walk with each other long-term until the sack is not only empty, but then filled with good stuff, stuff that we get to and want to take with us, right? Um, so it's it's almost like um, we see it as first of all there's a light on the dashboard in your car and you go in to have you something's wrong right the <laughs> jack engine lights on you go and do something about it and and we all get to that place where we're just like I've done everything I know to do I need some help but then what if when that is fixed we just get to bring our car in for regular maintenance and oil changes and services and things like that having somebody to walk alongside us to go hey that bug is reappearing, you know, or, hey, sure. you're doing that thing again, or, hey, here's a new level I see you could go to. It's just the most astounding thing. It is. Mm. The best of the best in the world have coaches. Right. Um, people often give the example of Tiger Woods, who arguably um, was the best golfer of all time, mm. or at least in recent history. And he has coaches and people would be like, well, I'm sure he could coach. Actually, maybe he couldn't. That's not his job. His job isn't to coach. Mm -hmm. His job is to play the game the best he can. And he has people who help him do that. And that's true in business as well. You know what's interesting, though? I find that people who are in business for themselves, people who are in small business, often will get coaches I find, though, people in the corporate world who are hired to do a job at a higher level may have some mentors and so forth, but mm -hmm. not so much coaching. And I came from the corporate world, and yeah. it was 20 years ago that I left that world to become an entrepreneur, and mm -hmm. I've really understood now the importance of us as small business owners to have people who have our back, and it's much easier to have, we'll call it a third party, someone who's separate from you, not your spouse, not your business mm. partner, not your employees, mm. maybe not even your mentor, mm. a coach. Mm -hmm. And I like the approach you have because there's so many different business coaches, but you are coaching more of what's holding you back, right? Mm. How can we change your mind, shift it, so mm. you can then achieve all the all these things in your business life. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Jim, people look at us and say, are oh, you a business coach? And I go, no, that's your gifting. You are the one that is designed to take this plumbing business to franchise all over the world. Or you are the one that's designed to bring a new idea to your industry. That's your gifting. My gifting is helping you to do that, helping you be a healthiest version of you so that you can run with what you're doing. And I love that, Jim, because, I mean, even in the inner circle, we see so many different gifts and talents. You know, we do the, the DISC assessment, which is the D-I-S-C, you know, have a look at it. Um, if you're watching this podcast, you don't know what we're talking about, but it's it's literally different personality styles and the ways people react to things. And it's so good to see us all working together instead of fighting with somebody that's different to us, right? So what if we actually could look not only at ourselves and go, hey, this is how I do things. This is how I think. This is what I'm gifted at. When I do this thing, it just flows. I mean, it's amazing. I can I can think the big picture or I can do the minute details or I'm the one in front of the room that loves to be the life and soul of the party or I'm the one that doesn't care what the obstacle is. I'm going to drive it through. And what if we actually acknowledge that about each other, and then chose to work together, right? And that's what I love, Jim, about what you said, is that typically in the entrepreneurial space, we're way more teachable. We're like, yes, I am one piece. This is, this is the idea I have or the product I have or the service I can render, but I need other people around me. And I have loved how teachable the people are that we've met at the, at the boot camps, at the inner circle conferences. And I have found so much help for the things I don't know how to do, right? Right now, you've been in radio for all this time. This is the, this is the first time I've been interviewed by somebody that is as knowledgeable about this industry as you are. So what a privilege for me to be able to join with you to produce something for others on the watch. Yeah, thank you. And it's true. Every one of us has unique talents. Mm -hmm. And 
one great thing about doing this podcast actually is I get to meet all of you and go a lot deeper. But then again, the benefit is, is this is available to anyone also to watch from the outside in. And I, you know, strongly recommend that. Mm -hmm. So the inner circle, you're new to it. You're a coach. Howard and his team do coaching, but it's complimentary. I know you mm -hmm. talked a little bit about that a little while ago here on this podcast. Mm -hmm. Can you tell everyone again how what you do is complimentary to what they'll get when they join as an inner circle member? Sure. Yeah. So what we've loved about discovering uh, about the inner circle, and we, we have been members for a month, but we've been to two conferences between the three of us. We've been to two conferences and a, a breakthrough workshop. And what we've consistently found is these amazing systems that underscore everything. I've learned more about how to do my financial spreadsheets, how to set my goals, how to um, bring employees on board, if that's what I get to do. I've loved learning about the, the nuts and bolts of a business that truly I don't know about. You know, Doing the, the, uh, the numbers part has always been a bit of an enigma for me. So one of my partners does that. But I've learned so much about Oh, if you if you set your goals this way, it will hold you accountable on the pod calls and things like that. So it's building the the structure and the backbone of my business to be strong, right? But if I don't believe that I'm good enough to be on this podcast, if I don't believe that I can really make a difference in somebody's life, if I don't believe in my own ability to be me, then all the systems in that can get me so far. But you're right, Jim, I will stop myself. My own limitations will stop myself. And so what we've loved seeing, and, and we've talked this through with Howard, and, and we love what he does, he loves what we do, is to be able to go, okay, let's let's create the healthy person who uses the healthy business systems. And then, Jim, imagine what's possible when you know who you are and you know what you can do. And then you've got this phenomenal business structure and, and coaching and teaching of how to do the things you don't know how to do that's supporting mm -hmm. you along the way. It's just, we've heard so many testimonies, haven't we? So Absolutely. many stories of how people have run with this. So that's how we see it. Cause a healthy you plus healthy business systems, sky's the limit. It's so great to identify what you are good at and mm -hmm. what you're not, and mm -hmm. then you surround yourself with people with the not, with yeah, what exactly. you're not good at. And I tell people all the time, my clients, I tell them, you need to focus, be the best you can be in your area and establish yourself as the expert. Whether mm -hmm. you're an author or you're a speaker, um, it could be, you know, a number of things. It could be the vice president of, of the company. You're the best person for that VP position. And a lot of us are trying to be a number of different things. And so we're a jack of all trades. We're not a master of any. It's it's just a mess. And so I, you know, I, I'm not, well, I guess I do coach, but <laughs> I don't have coach next to my name on my business card, but I, but I do give my opinion. And I say, look, I've been around a long time and mm -hmm. I think the best thing to do is establish yourself as an expert. So if you think you're an expert here, are you truly an expert? Are you being fair to yourself? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what do you need to do to soften up those, those rough edges and become, and then what you're not an expert at give it to other people, whether it's in your organization or outside the organization as a professional who feeds it back to you. And mm -hmm. I think your life's going to be a lot happier. You surround yourself with support. I mean, can you imagine wearing all the hats, right? We've all seen that analogy where there's like a sombrero and then a cowboy hat, and that. <laughs> all of that on top of your head, instead of fitting into the hat that's yours, and then being able to create a community around you or connections, at least to people around you, whether that's employees or contractors, like you mentioned, Jim, whatever that is to be able to create that, it's a it makes a strong interconnected place to, to do things from. And one of the things I love is we we can get a little fixated on the fact that, oh, I'm the, I'm the, this, I'm the CEO, I'm the, this, right? And I love what you said about being an expert. What if that knowledge, what if that expert knowledge came from knowing who you are, even apart from your title? 
right? So we have a client who's actually a math professor. Mm. So she, she, you know, she knows her stuff, that kind of thing. But after we'd been through our framework with her, we have this signature eight-step eight, eight framework that we start people off on. After we'd unraveled this and saw what was in her way and unraveled things, she actually realized that the thing she loves about being a math professor is not being a professor. It's not even math. It's the fact that she has this gift to be able to take a difficult subject and make it easy to understand. Yeah. And she literally, Jim, it then applied to, she gets invited to women's retreats to play her saxophone. <laughs> Opposite ends, right? You think math and saxophone. This woman sees people because she loves to create an atmosphere where people are safe. They can learn. They can grow, right? She plays her saxophone at these women's retreats and people are undone. They're undone at the beauty of the music and how they feel and how it sets them free. So who would ever have thought that, she didn't have to hang on to the label professor because when she found out who she was, it could apply when she goes to the grocery store, in her marriage, in her relationships, in her business, in her leisure time and the stuff she has on her dream list to do because she's discovered who she is. And now it just spills out of her everywhere she goes. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we could talk all day long. This is, this <laughs> is great. Time. <laughs> I appreciate your time. And here's what I'm going to do for the people who are listening and watching. I'm mm -hmm. going to put Lisa's information in the description of the podcast. So there's going to be a link to her email and her website. How about that? Thank you. That'd be awesome. We'd love to connect with people. Yeah. And thank you. We'll see you mm -hmm. next time on the podcast. Thank you, Jim.